What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Friday. And that Friday energy we do have indeed. Mm, mm, We mm, just mm, sold mm. out our Nashville show. So Nashville, we are in fact coming for you. I'm so fucking excited for Nashville. It's going to be awesome. Every place is going to be awesome. I'm so excited for all the places. excited for this tour, which leads me to... It is next week. It is next Um, week. It is next week. And we should note, I was going to yeah. get to that. I was going to say that programming note. Yeah, programming note. Because we are going to be on tour like a bunch of rock stars for the next five weeks after this week. Yeah. We will not. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah, this is actually. This is big news. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. We will not be releasing episodes on Friday for the next yeah. five weeks because we will be. Doing a show four, four, four weeks. weeks. Sorry, yeah. four. The New York one's on Wednesday. Oh, the New York. Oh, one. okay, okay, okay. So four weeks. So four it's, weeks. it's only it's only a short four weeks because we will be traveling. We'll be doing yep. our shows on Thursdays, and we won't really have enough time to give you the best product that we want to give you on that Friday. So we're gonna take those days off for the next four weeks, but then we'll be back to it. Yeah, absolutely. We just uh, are really trying to make these live shows as best as we possibly can, so we don't really want to be too distracted on Thursday leading up. We want to be preparing, getting ready, making sure we're organized for that. So no episodes Friday, but of course we'll still be, you'll still hear from us on Monday and you'll hear from us on Wednesday for Bachelorette stuff. You know, the Bachelorette starts shortly and we will be ready to go. And Monday episodes are going to be huge now because we're going to have so much to cover that the Monday episodes are going to be so great. Topics, trivia, Trivia. guests. Guests. Like Monday is going to be awesome. So look forward to Mondays, Chicks in the Office, and then Wednesday. Maybe we'll put some more topics on Wednesday. Yeah, and we'll add stuff to Wednesday too. We'll move some stuff around so we're not missing out on anything. And so we're not just giving Bachelor stuff on Wednesday so we can give you guys the best of both worlds. Because it used to be it was so easy to separate it because we did three episodes a week. Um, But if we got to... We got maybe we got to get back to those days when we did two. Yeah, who we kno- did that for a while? Who knows what's gonna happen after this yeah. tour? <laughs> we did um, that. We did that for a while. Um, but, but I'm yeah. very excited for this. I think yeah. the show is gonna be really great. I hope that everyone who has bought tickets is super excited. Thank you to everyone who's bought tickets. If you haven't been able to get tickets, uh, I apologize. Obviously, you know we talked about this. We we're doing a limited amount, but we're gonna do yeah. if all goes as planned. And not to be that guy, but like. It's really not our fault. We're really so sorry. We have to use these third party ticket sellers um, that, you know, we obviously don't work for or have anything to do with them. And you guys are all just so amazing that the site, these sites can't handle it. We keep crashing all the sites. Yeah. (laughs) The sites can't. uh, We've tried. We've changed it. We've tried other things. And um, the sites just can't seem to handle the volume of you people, which is uh great for us to hear we are sorry that is yes. happening for you guys but on top of that if you just haven't been able to get a ticket in general maybe you can't make that date whatever it is we're gonna do another tour after this if if everything works out great which yeah. i think it will i'm very excited and we can't mention this tour without talking about our great sponsor sling tv yeah i'm also loving the weather right now it's great fall weather and one of my favorite things to do is sit in my backyard with a nice little blankie on my couch Mm -hmm. and I got the TV out there and guess what I got on the TV outside? Sling Sling TV. TV. The other night I was watching Just Go With It with Adam Sandler on Sling TV the other night. Sling TV comes in handy. They also have a bunch of the Barstool shows on there as well. So not only only do you get sports and movies and just everything that you get on cable TV, Mm -hmm. you also get a lot of the Barstool shows including Chicks in the Office. It's so easy too because there's no like all the plugs and contracts and like you just... Look it up. You're good to go. Right. So go to sling.com slash barstool and you will get your first month starting at $10. I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. If you don't have cable, get Sling TV. You'll get all the channels that you need, especially like it's outdoor TV season. Like I said, on my own outdoor TV, I got Sling. It has me covered. Go to sling.com slash barstool and get yours first month starting at $10. And thank you, Sling, for sponsoring the Checks in the Office tour. We love you. And maybe a lucky person who comes to the tour may get some Sling TV in their life. I don't know. Um, we have fun plans for the show and I, I'm just looking forward to that. Like, th- you know, Thursdays just getting pumped up for the show. What are we going to do on Thursdays? Like, like a ritual, you know, yeah. I'm just excited for that day to get the energy going. It's going to be good. So we're feeling great or at least I'm feeling great. How are I you doing, friend? Um, I feel great. I am very excited for this weekend. Just if you could give me the ideal 
fall weekend, it would be this weekend that's happening right now because uh, not only oh, am I, just I remembered. Seeing, yeah, hello. <laughs> not only am I seeing two of um, my best friends who I don't get to spend that much time with, I'm seeing them Friday night. Saturday is the Jones Brothers show at Jones Beach, and Sunday is Harry Styles at. <sighs> Madison Square Garden. Uh, I believe, as of right now, I will be at Harry Styles both nights, <laughs> Sunday and Monday. That is my plan for right now. And I would be going to the, <clears throat> I would be going to the Jonas Brothers Tuesday at PNC. Uh, but it is the Bachelor in Paradise yeah. finale, so unfortunately, I can't make that happen. But my heart goes out to all those who are going to be at PNC Bank on Tuesday because that is my like home. Like seeing the Jonas Brothers outside of PNC is where I saw them the most. You know, you talk about Jones Beach all the time. PNC was my Jones Beach and would see them there like from the early on their first tour and all those things. I saw them at, at PNC. So I'm really sad I can't be at that one because it would be pretty wild. And I don't know how I'd be feeling on Wednesday. I would actually I'd actually be bad for my health. I'd be, I don't think I'm going to be able to speak. Imagine if I went Jones Brothers, Harry Styles, Harry Styles, Jones Brothers four days in a row. Right, and then we have the, the tour on Wednesday night. Yeah, and then we're going straight into a live show, our own uh, live our show. Our own live show. It's going to be Where great. I can't speak because I've just been screaming yeah. for other people. I thought about... I'm, first of all, so excited for this weekend as well. Yeah. Like, I just... I, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, my Saturday heart... Saturday again. It's Saturday, Saturday Sunday. Sunday. Whoop. My, fr- my heart might explode on Sunday night. I yeah. have waited to see this man, Harry Styles, for quite since 2019 when I cried at his show. Yeah, I have been thinking every morning to myself, like, what am I like? I I need to look good on Sunday, like for the Harry Styles show, as if Harry Styles yeah. has even a slim chance of spotting me out in the crowd. I just want to lose myself. I'm already fully preparing. I know that, like, you know, I would love to film the concert and like have videos for myself. I know you're going to do that. So I'm just going to let you do that. I'm going to keep yeah, my yeah. phone I, in my pocket the yeah. whole time and fully emerge myself in the show. I'm going to do shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> my sister's coming with us also, and she's very good at capturing um, as well. So I think we'll be, we will be fully covered. I always want to be that person. I'm like, I'm going to live in the moment. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be on my phone the whole time during the concert. And then certain things happen. And I just can't resist. I have to, I have to record some of it. You, I just yeah. have to. You're big on that. I really, yeah. I have 9 don't million take out my phone. When, on my phone. I, when I'm out, I like really don't take out my phone. I don't know. It's like, something happens and I'm like I just can't even I can't even look at this right now yeah, I can't yeah. even like I don't know I, I even at a concert I'm like I'd love to capture this right now but yep. I feel like I'm gonna lose the moment although you know then you'll have them forever but it's gonna be a great weekend very exciting perfect fall weekend the yeah. weather's the weather's just perfect it's be right now so nice and uh, my first time going to Jones Beach ever I fucking love Jones Beach yeah I'm excited Jones you know Beach what's really great. great is I have a I have a Jonas Brothers. It's gonna be windy though. Jean jacket. <laughs> that is it. I mean, it's gonna be windy at Jones Beach because it's oh. on the water. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I it just... does get cold at night, which is why I, I this will be the first time I can wear the jean jacket that you got me. Yeah, and the reason I'm pointing that uh, that out is because I went to go get my hair blown out last weekend. Not last weekend, last week. Um, and the Dave Matthews concert was at Jones Beach the night before, and a girl walked in and she had gotten her hair blown out the day before yeah. she came back and was like my hair got messed up because it was too windy at, windy at jones beach oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so very fair that's why i was pointing out that it was gonna be windy <laughs> very fair well i'll be good to go um but no I, I was saying that i have my jones brothers jean jacket that you got me it has you know the jones brothers painted on the back which i can wear saturday and then sunday you have your harry styles jean jacket that <laughs> so you have excited. like we're just gonna be fucking decked out a Two couple fan of girls. groupies i'm so excited i haven't fangirled in a while and i'm really excited to get it that going good. this weekend it, it does good. uh we have a great episode today with erin lim rhodes from e if you follow along with e which i'm sure if you follow the show then you do you keep up with that yeah um she's on the show and we're going through topics with her we're talking about uh jesse palmer as the doom bachelor host clarendale's breakup and britney spears's conservatorship her father jamie has officially been taken off of it so Let's get into it. All right, everyone. We are here with a very special guest. We have E's Erin Lim Rhodes with us now. The first time she was on the show was just Erin Lim. Now you're married, yeah. pregnant. Congratulations. A lot has changed. A lot. Of, a lot. <laughs> there it is. 
I Me love it. Peek at the bum. <laughs> What's up, guys? We are so excited to have you back. So uh, much has changed in your life. Not much has changed in in yeah. ours, but we would love to hear about everything that has been going on with you. I mean, it's a pandemic. You get married. You're having a baby. So much. Yeah, give me a pandemic and I will come out thriving. Yes, <laughs> married with a child. A whole on other the way. person. <laughs> a full on whole other person. Like, I can't even wrap my head around it. Like, it, it, at the time that we spoke last year, if you would have told me, like, I don't even think I was engaged at the time. If you would have said, like, guess what? A year from now, you're going to get engaged, get married, get a house, have a baby. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> that's definitely not happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel so blessed and grateful that all of these things have happened. I None of it was really planned. Like, I didn't even think my husband and I were going <laughs> to get engaged when we did. Like, that was a total shocker. And then even us getting married was kind of like, it was all because of the pandemic why we did it so soon, that turnaround. It was like, we got engaged and it was like, you know, we could do the whole thing where we get married like a year from now, plan the big celebration. That's what we had intended to do. Um, but we were like, gosh, we don't even know if we can even put a real date on the book. So let's just do the courthouse wedding and like, just do it for ourselves. But then courthouses were closed. So, and you had to do it over zoom and we were like, we don't want to do it over zoom. No. So we ended up having like a small ceremony in my parents' backyard with just our immediate family. Cause January was like pre vaccine still high COVID rate still. So we're like, it's gotta be just be like our brothers, sisters, uh, parents and my Nana and my Nana luckily got to be there and she just passed in April. So that was really special that she got to see us get married. And then, um, freaking yeah like a week before my 30th birthday and a week before closing on a house we find out we're pregnant and that was not planned either we we're not like let's try having a baby like it was probably i was off my birth control for like two days and then boom that's <laughs> God, unbelievable <laughs> oh man yeah yeah that <laughs> I was like, you know, switching packets. And, I don't know if that's TMI, but yeah. um, no, 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 no. It, is, yeah. Don't skip days on your birth control. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It reminded me, I yeah. skipped a lot of days this week. <laughs> Gotta get back on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're okay. <laughs> True. I'm like, I'll be just you fine. With? You're fine. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, anyways, um, we're so happy for you. We love following you and yeah. watching your life evolve so quickly. And I actually love how quickly you did get engaged and married. I talked about this the other day. Like, you know, people waited out and it's like, why not I just wait. do it while you're feeling it? Yeah, do it while you're feeling it. Like, we're still on cloud nine. Like, let's make sure we do this thing. <laughs> no, but also we wanted to, like, start our lives. Like, yeah. we were talking about houses and looking for things and wanting to just, like, do things together already. And we're like, well, it makes sense to do it married. That just makes sense for us. Um, so then it was like, yeah. And, and it turned out that our, like, small intimate ceremony was so beautiful it was really about us it was like food that we loved it was chill and it was good vibes with both of our families coming together and really hanging out and getting to know each other and uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything so I'm like you know maybe eventually we'll have a celebration or right a party or vow renewal something um our baby will be in the picture by then so you know, we'll, we'll do something to celebrate our union, but so far it's been really dope. It feels like we've been celebrating all year long. Yeah. And yeah. like you said, how nice is it that you were able to have your grandmother there at the time? And if you had, if you had waited and thought, oh no, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, that probably wouldn't have happened. So that is really nice. Cause I do, I remember what, seeing on social media, um, you posting about her and how close you guys were. So I feel like that is really, yeah. really special. Um, Cause yeah, it you know, was you brilliant. Can, yeah. I think that's really, really nice. And like you said, so busy, but also work still going on. You're still crushing it. The rundown has hit so many milestones recently. Did you ever think that you would be doing this show on Snapchat for so long and that, you know, it would get to this point where you've done hundreds and hundreds of episodes? Oh my gosh. I literally 
could not even yeah. foresee any of that. Like, even when I was approached to do the show, like, that was so foreign and new. Like, nothing had existed like this show before ours came out. So it's like, we were the thing to come out. We were the show to come out and invent all of the vertical viewing that you see today. Like, the way that shows are shot yeah. for snapchat for instagram for whatever for digital viewing it's like that was because of us like we stacked the videos we put text on screen and different and like even like the um topic headline bar you know mm -hmm. where it's like what's to come like that was us it was revolutionary so it's cool to see how far media has come all together and how we were pretty much like paving the way for a lot of that and um you know, it was so fun. I remember, I remember the day where they were like, Hey, so you're going to host a show on Snapchat. It's all, Snapchat discovery. It hasn't ruled out yet, but you're going to be the first show on it. And at the time they were like, it's going to be one day a week. And when it came out, it got like millions of views, like over 3 million views, I want to say. And they were like, cool, we're going to do two days a week. And then it just kept growing and growing. Like we're going to do three days a yep. week. And I remember there was conversation about it's going to be seven days a week. I'm like, yo, oh, yo no, <laughs> one little stool. I can't do that. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if they had it their way, it would be on, you know, every single yeah. day, but yeah, hundred, I mean, we're almost at 800 episodes. We're five years in, like, it's so fun. Like that show really is my first baby. And I don't want to go on maternity leave because I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, we love it too. It's great. Obviously, it's incredible that it's still going on after yeah. all these years. And it only get you have more and more guests on there. Like you, I feel Such cool things. Yeah, yeah, there's so many cool things. You go to all the events with it. It's awesome. Do you ever get tired yeah. of talking about pop culture? Because we're about to talk to you about some <laughs> topics. <laughs> I don't get tired of it. Although on weekends, I try and like not look at the news feeds. Sometimes, you know, I try yeah. to be like present mm. with. My family, my husband, like I try to sometimes turn off and I'm like, okay, Sunday night I'm back in it. Like, but you can never really turn it off because like I'm constantly on Twitter, like what's trending and like, right, you know, and looking at all the things. You get a text like, from I mean, somebody. You definitely yeah. try to and exactly until you get a text from someone being like, oh my God, did you see that this just happened? And then you're like, ah, <laughs> I yep. missed it. And it's funny because I have a lot of girlfriends who are like not pop culture fanatics the same way that we are right. you know so they like text me yo yeah. what's going on with yes. so and so right now like all give me the, the total time. rundown oh. but like give it to me personally yeah, <laughs> yeah. like yo watch my show and they're like no no i want you to text me a full synopsis that of is their so life. funny always our, our that totally happens to us too where it's like Okay, I, I know that we are personal friends and you can obviously text me about whatever you want, but like, I have a podcast. Uh, I got- Listen, subscribe. I, we, we, <laughs> you know, we do stuff on Instagram. We do stuff on Snapchat. Like, you could look and find out what, <laughs> what I think I'll, about it. I'll go three months without talking to a friend and they'll text me and be like, yo, what's going on with so-and-so? I'm like, you think I know personally? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I know we, the headline you saw Dang. is what I saw as well. <laughs> It is nice that Same. people do then, think like, we have an inside like scoop. Like they're like they think we know oh, yeah. them personally, so they can get some kind of gossip. And we're like, no. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I don't know. And remember, I mean, last time we were talking about sources. Yes, yeah, yeah. And yep. how we have like the email. Like sometimes I'll throw in a little gem, like, well, you know, this isn't out yet, but or if I know something personally, because like a friend. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm totally exposing myself. No, no, yeah, we do the same thing, but no, we absolutely <laughs> do the same thing sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it, hap it happens. Sometimes you gotta like let a friend know. You know, they they're not gonna talk to anybody. They just want to no. know for their own good. It is what it is. Um, this is. Just to put it on the record, to save my job, I'm not telling people people information yes. that they should know absolutely yes. we know you're we not aren't we're doing great that at your either. job and we're not doing we're that either we're not doing that either um let's get into the topics that we want to go over with you all right we are going to get into some topics we have but first i want to say to ria that this weekend i know we're very excited for what's going on and concerts and sporting events and everything and the best pair at all those events is a nice Coors Light. Yeah, I'm is. already imagining my Jones Beach Coors Light that I'm going to have is going to be so good because like I've said, Coors Light tastes great and we love it so much, but nothing takes, tastes better than a Coors Light at a Jonas Brothers concert. That's a proven fact, yep. backed by science. We <laughs> only associate Coors Light with 
or Jones Backed Brothers by with Coors Light. <laughs> yes, the the two go hand in hand for us. It will go down as you know the greatest day in my entire life, and for that reason, I am so excited for this weekend to be hanging out, relaxing, and having my ice cold Coors Light because it's literally the only beer that's made to chill, and I can't wait to just be chilling to the max the mountains on the bottles and cans turn blue when your beer is cold when you need to hit reset just open up a Coors Light it's mountain cold refreshment like I said made to chill cold lagered cold filtered cold packaged it's as crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies perfect for a moment to unwind or when you are jamming your little heart out to the Josh Brothers that's what I'm going to be doing. So that's why Coors Light is the one I choose when I need to unwind. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get Coors Light in the new look delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to CoorsLight.com slash chicks. Always remember to celebrate responsibly. It's coming from Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. You follow The Bachelor a lot. Jesse Palmer has been announced as the new Bachelor host. This kind of came out of nowhere. People have been wondering what was going to go on with that. He was obviously on the show back in 2004. He was a past NFL player. He's hosted other shows as well. Yep. So now he's going to host The Bachelor. What do you think about that? Look, I watch The Bachelor. I'm a Bachelor fan. Very disappointed with what happened with the Chris Harrison stuff. Um, but even more disappointed that the show and the network went this direction. I And it's no shade to Jesse Palmer personally. He's a great host. He was on the show, so I understand. But this was a, a big missed opportunity. Like they could have selected someone who was either a person of color maybe a female i know the last season they did the dual female post situation which also i wasn't very happy about because they had to have two females which makes me believe that they're thinking one female can't do this on her own right we need two females to fit this male role and we can't just have a a woman of color do it so we need to like balance it and i don't know I, i just feel like there's no they, they, they have no faith that a person of color can can host this show or that a female can't do it on her own like it's really disheartening and it's it's like come on guys like you really you you put out these statements you've been under fire for so many different things it took you how many years to get the first black bachelor the first black bachelorette and um and you guys always say that like, oh, you know, we're going to try our best and, and things are going to be different. But like, are you really trying your best? Like, where is your chief diversity officer that you brought in last right. summer with every other company? So I don't know. It just seemed a little tone deaf. Um, there are so many brilliant hosts who have great careers that it's like those all could have been valid options. So I don't know what what happened here um you know so i don't know it's been kind of hard to fully support bachelor nation when they're making these types of decisions and even michelle's selection of guys i'm just like okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel uh, like well, we haven't met them yet yeah, maybe, we, they could be maybe they're better than we think yeah i i haven't really looked through the guys but i feel like jesse palmer was just like all right we're just gonna get another chris harrison out there that's not chris harrison yeah yeah Holy, i'm like they're really gonna try hard to get the next chris harrison up in there and this could be it. I mean, if that's what they were going for, they nailed it. Right. It is It is interesting that they went this way with their show that is by far, you know, their most popular show out of the three that they do. You know, hosted The Bachelor gets the most eyeballs. Mm-hmm. They have the most, the highest, the higher ratings and over Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise. So they bring in this guy who, yeah, you know, he definitely has the hosting experience, but it's also interesting because he's someone that kind of tried to distance himself from this show for, like, a big part of his career, which I understand he went from being, like, The Bachelor and everyone talked to him about it, and then he wanted, like, this career in sports, and so he's on ESPN, and he's talking about college football, and it was very much, like, doesn't want to talk about the bachelor and doesn't want to like talk about that but now you know they probably offered him a lot of money and he's hosting other shows i feel like like he hosted the ultimate surfer on abc which was on this summer 
And yeah, you're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> All I know is <laughs> Kelly Slater's involved with we that. We just watched <laughs> 9 million commercials yeah. for it because it always came on uh, after Bachelorette or Paradise. And I just feel like they were like, oh, you know, he did like a, he did a decent job. Let's just give him the Bachelor job. But people were, you know, I don't know. Not it's lazy. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It feels so lazy. It's like you had all of these months and seasons in between to do something. And this is where you went. Right. Even with like having David Spade, like that was so <laughs> random. Like, I don't know. And that actually to- went really poorly, in my opinion. Like all the yeah. guest hosts was really weird I think and it, that it was, I thought maybe it wasn't going to be that weird and it ended up just being so weird it was so unnecessary they didn't play they a did crucial nothing. part at all I really hope they're not involved in, in the next one like yeah. I hope that they don't do a rotating cast for Bachelor in Paradise I Wells, think it's pointless Wells should be the permanent host of Bachelor in Paradise I know a lot of people That's wanted what I was thinking. Yeah, yes. a lot of people wanted Wells to get to be the host of The Bachelor um, as well because he does such a good job on Paradise but I think this, like I think he makes so much sense on Paradise he should just that should be yes. his show. Yes. I think Wells totally. needs to and take over Paradise. Yeah. Yeah. And he does like the Chris Harrison type things now where it's like, I'm going to have that heart to heart conversation right. with Ivan or whatever and like see what's up. It's like that's what Chris would have done. So like Wells is totally qualified for it. It's a fun, young, edgy show. Like just let him have that. And then fucking find a new host (laughs) yeah i feel like i feel like they could figure out bachelor in paradise with wells he takes that over it fully becomes his thing and then they really just got to figure out the other two like they they're scrambling to figure out the bachelor and bachelorette but i feel like caitlin bachelor in paradise again yes but i kind of agreed with what you said about uh taisha and caitlin it's like well, why why didn't you pick two guys to host The Bachelor now? Jesse Palmer and somebody else. Right. And it does suck because we love both right. of those women so much, right? So, like, it's yeah. hard to be like, okay, well, now, now they p- put them together. So what's it going to look like if they do decide to just go with one at, at some point and not the other one? The or other if they get rid get of upset. both of them and yeah. bring in just one person to do Bachelorette. It, it is, it is very interesting. Mess. It is a mess. And... um. I said this on a on another show that I do too that I really I really liked Emmanuel Acho on the after the final rose for Matt James. I really Just liked him. That, I was about to say that. Yeah. I'm like he could be the next Chris Harrison. Let's just give him a suit that gives him a little bit more breathing room because that's <laughs> yeah. very tight. He's a strong he's a strong man. But he is a great yeah. host. He's yeah. so grounded and just can keep it real and i feel like he would have good conversations with them along the way to guide them in their journeys i mean yeah he's polished and he's great so yeah i I don't know he um did a really good job i remember because we had we were wondering like how is he gonna have this conversation with rachel how is he gonna have this conversation with matt so and it was really good because it wasn't like he was like yelling at anybody or like it just was like a normal guy just having a conversation, yep. well spoken, to I, the point. He was so great, and I do wish that that became something else within this franchise. Because, and you can say Jesse Palmer, oh, he was the Bachelor. He was the Bachelor in two thousand four. Like yeah. the show is a completely different show. I don't think he has like necessary any necessarily any great insight or like advice to give to the next Bachelor. He'd be like, well, when I was on it, well, right. when you were on it, there was no social media. Also, also, <laughs> also they want to change with the times, but yeah. they're just going back in time. Yeah, like they're just getting a guy yes. from two thousand four. Yeah. And, like, I know Chris has hosted it since forever, but, like, it's not like he was The Bachelor before he came on the show and, like, did, like, you know? So it's right. not like you need some crazy expert. It's, like, you just need a, a good person who can, I don't know, captivate an audience, talk to the people, and if someone like Emmanuel could do that. Literally anyone could do it. Um, so, what ups? Yeah, uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Agreed. Uh, but in that Bachelor world, there was um, a breakup, semi-announced, semi-not this week, that Claire and Dale have broken up. Um, the story around this is that it was just time. It n- might have not necessarily ended that well between the two of them, but they think that they are done for good uh, after you know they've gotten back together and broken up a couple times this year. So... I kind of think that this might actually be for good this time. I think it's for the best. Yeah. I mean, they haven't deleted all of the photos yet, guys. That is true. <laughs> that is true. So, that is. I guess that really is the final test, huh? 
once the photos come down, then you know it's for good. <laughs> but the writing was on the wall for this one. I mean, since they walked out of that bachelor mansion before the season could even end, and then when we saw the interview, the post interview where, you know, the I think it was kids were brought up and then his yeah. face was like <laughs> and then yeah. um yeah, I just feel like this this relationship sadly had a time a deadline on it you know and then it was like they broke up that first time it's like okay they they can try and rekindle it but there was already all of those rumors surrounding dale and his behavior and the best friend that was too close and i don't know it's hard to recover from that type of stuff and then like dale even said like relationships are tough and then having to do it in front of the public eye like yeah throw that on it and it's going to be very difficult and I think it was like I think they were when they left it was like that honeymoon stage where you don't really know each other and then you are engaged and then you're living together and it's just I don't know I I couldn't see it working you're engaged to a stranger like you really don't know them at all and I just I don't know it always seemed like Dale was really just looking to party or go out on the town and Claire's looking to settle down. Like, I don't, I think Dale wants to experience that single life with his notoriety now. Like now that people know him, Dale could enter a whole new group of people. Right. He's got a whole new pool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for Claire because she's clearly a lover, wants to find that person, settle down with. She's a little bit older. She looks great, but I think she was also trying to keep up with, yeah, a, a, a younger man who is new to Hollywood. And when you're new to Hollywood and you get a taste of that fame and you're that young and that good looking, like, yeah, it's going to be really hard for you to just settle down immediately. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. That is, that's very true. And then, you know, the last thing we want to touch on quickly is there was a big... Big court hearing this week for Britney Spears and the battle with her conservatorship, but it has been ruled that Jamie Spears, her father, has been suspended Let's from go. the conservatorship. He's gone. He's Woo! done. Yes. And this is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> we needed Jamie, the Jamies in uh, general, out of here. The Jamies, you're yeah. out! <laughs> Sayonara! <laughs> Never heard of you again. <laughs> How oh happy gosh. are we? Like chills happy. Like yeah. I mean, she is like a step closer to the freedom. You know, even though this and this is the biggest victory right now, but it's there's a bigger one coming and that's this entire conservatorship ending. You know, right now she's got the temp conservator that was suggested by her attorney, John Zabel, Zabel. Yeah. Um, we love this attorney, you know, by the way. Yeah. Big, big, fan. big fans yes. of Big fan attorney. of Matthew Rosengard. He's getting shit done. Yeah. He's gotten shit done, you know? He's put in three requests to remove Jamie. And I mean, quickly, after 13 too. years. Mm-hmm. Very quickly. It was like, what, July? Mm-hmm. It was... Highly suspicious that all these years and then boom, this guy comes along in July and then damn, it's over. what happens when she's finally allowed to have her own lawyer. Right. Exactly. Exactly. I'm just so happy that like the judge was like, yo, I do want what's in Britney's best interest. Mm -hmm. And that is to remove this man who has been dictating what she does with her life for the last 13 years. So, you know, even the like Britney being engaged, like I feel like she's going to get that IU out now yep. finally yep. and she who knows she could probably get that baby that she wants you yeah. know like she just wants to live yeah. her life um yeah what a victory this is such great news i mean honestly i'm like amazed by the people who even spearheaded the free britney movement yeah, seriously. all those years yeah. ago seriously. like created so much attention and the public's eye was so closely watching um yeah it's it's pretty wild to to see like you know, like how social media can impact things. Right. Yeah. I mean, thank God for these people because like we said, the attorney obviously helped in July, but people weren't really knowing what to do. They were like, oh, Britney Spears is on Instagram. She looks I mean, like wow, something's wow. going on. I didn't but- even know she was under a conservatorship right. to all this. I was like, what the hell is that? I don't even know. I, I didn't even realize that because- she had been under this thing yeah. since 2008. Because unless you were like an extreme Britney fan, you just thought that Britney Spears like kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Yeah. And then sometimes you'd hear about her and her, her uh, residency in Vegas and yep. then shit happening with that. But you didn't know 
legally right. what was happening. And then once that came to light, it was like, boom, boom, boom. And this is just great. I feel like it is a step in the right direction. Right. Yeah. I mean, I knew like a couple of years ago, because, you know, we have to follow everything. So I knew about the conservatorship, but I didn't know how intense it was until she had that court hearing and you heard it yep. from her own voice saying, this is my life the last 13 years. It's like, that was crazy, chilling, just horrific to see yeah. someone like that living under those circumstances. It's like, wow, you've given the world so much and you are literally living like a prisoner. So now that she's got a new temp conservator, hopefully they loosen the reins and she proves to be fully capable of just doing everything on her own. I think, yeah, it's it's time. It, this conservatorship is definitely coming to an end. Thank God. It's a great way to end it. It's a great way to wrap up with you, Erin. Thank you so much for popping on with us again. We love seeing you, and we hope you uh, have a very happy and healthy rest of your, your pregnancy and that everything goes Thank smoothly, you. and it's just been such a beautiful thing to watch <laughs> your life this Thank past year. You. We're stalking you on Next Instagram. Time, yeah. I hope you know that. Yeah, always. <laughs> Yo, next time we talk, I'm going to have a baby on my boob, and I will gladly give you that exclusive. Thank Please. you so much. Please we do. We would really Thank love you. that. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thanks so much, ladies. All right, Great bye. seeing y'all. Bye. Thanks, Erin. Bye. All right, that wraps up today's episode of Chicks in the Office. We love you guys. Thank you for understanding about the next uh, Friday episodes for the yep. next four weeks. And if you're coming on tour, we're so excited to meet you guys. Love you very much. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple. Have a great weekend.